Welcome back to Crochet Time with Fan. And um, now I'm going to show you how to crochet a bow tie. Um, right here I have a ruler, I have some scissors, I have a barrette that is going to be used to clip the bow tie onto anything you need. I have a um, needle and I have some rug and button thread that's very strong, um, which I use to thread my yarn to my needle because I don't have a professional needle threader. So yarn works just as fine. This time uh, I am using, you might not be able to see this, it's a H five millimeter needle or a hook that uh, will make good size stitches for our bow tie so it looks nice and neat. And then I'm just using regular black Super Saver Red Heart yarn, um, which you can just get at any, basically any store that provides yarn. So, assuming that you know how to crochet, we're gonna start by making our slip knot. Okay. Now, once, I, once you have your slip knot, you are going to chain seven. Okay, now that I've chained my seven, um, it's, um, well, here, why don't I just, um, so here's my seven. This is going to be, like, the, the length, or, like, um, uh, not the, like, the width of the bow tie. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, go across seven each time, um, and do single crochets. Okay, so now we're just going to chain one. And then we're going to go in, oopsies, this fell off. You just go in, wrap around, pull through, wrap around again, and pull through both. Okay, so you just do that each time. So I'll just do the rest of this with you. Sorry. You go in. My hands aren't shaking. Yarn over, pull through the first one. Yarn over, pull through both. Okay. Then you're going to go in, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over again, pull through both. Go in, pull through. And then do that again and go through that. So you're just going to do this like seven times, regular single stitch crocheting, okay? I'm assuming that you know how to crochet for this video. And then I'm on my last one. Okay, so I'm obviously just going to chain one And then go up back around and I'm going to do single crochets again. So you know when to stop. Move this stuff out of the way. When your tail end is eight inches long. So now I'm almost I'm like at like a half an inch. Okay. So you want it to be all the way up here to eight inches because what we're going to do is end up folding it in half and then it's going to turn into a wonderful ball. Okay, so just finish doing single crochets um, all the way across seven times and then we'll go from there. Okay, see ya. Okay, 
So now that you have chained, or sorry, you have single crocheted about um, eight inches, like I did, I crocheted about eight and a half. I went over a little bit, and maybe I wanted it a little bit longer, but sorry. So it's about eight and a half, but that's okay. So now you're done with your roller, and you're going to need to take what you have and fold it over, but don't tie it off yet. Okay, you don't want to tie it off. So just fold it in half. So I'm getting situated like this. The two ends um, might be together, depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed. Okay, so here we go. We're starting to and we're just gonna slip stitch. Okay, we're just going to slip stitch all of the stitches that are alike. Okay. Oops. Okay, you just yarn over and then pull through the two. Sorry, it's kind of awkward here. Maybe I'll... Whoops, I dropped my needle. Okay. Yep, so just do your slip stitches all the way across. See now I went through two both and I went through the both sides and I have two. I just yarn over and then slip it through because it's a slip stitch. I need to do that again. Make it kind of confusing. Oops, I thought it took three, but whatever. Okay, so just work with this. It's kind of hard to show. Cause it's also because I'm using black, but I'm using the color black because I want to um, I want it to look you know like a, a real nice black bow tie. Okay, so just do that, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so now that we are done with um, doing our slip stitches. We are going to take this end and we're going to stretch it out so then this um, this part is in the middle. Okay, we want it's kind of hard to see because it's all black, but this part here that we just it's kind of raised is going to end up being in the middle. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to need your scissors. We're going to cut kind of a long tail. Okay, because we're going to end up using it too wrap all the way around lost this tape okay so now we need to quick fasten this off by taking our string that's left over and just slipping it through our our last chain slip knot thing and then pulling it real tight all the way down really tight Now do not cut it. Before you cut it, do not do it <laughs> at all. Okay, we can kind of pull this one. Okay, so they're both tight. Now you need to just take one of the ends. Make sure it's more it's in the middle because you definitely want it in the middle. And then just um, wrap it around. Okay couple times and then you're just going to knot it and pull this over It's really hard to see because of black. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have chose black. But you do get the idea. Hopefully. So now you're just going to pull it 
so then the middle of it comes together and then it will make a bow tie shape in a second I can show you if this is going to cooperate with me it might be a little bit uneven for me so just pull tight and then tie it again so it does not come apart at all And then you can just cut this off and you will not see this so you don't have to you don't have to um, tie it in so you can just cut it off now we have what looks like a bow tie and then it's it looks very cool uh, very stylish so um, now you can leave it on here if you want if you just like okay I just want a quick bow tie I want to get it done but there actually is more there are more steps to this um, and that's what I'll show you now. Now you are going to need your yarn again. You're actually going to make a separate piece. Just stretch out my yarn. Okay, so you're going to need your same needle, this one right here, and you're going to make your slip knot. And you're going to chain four. Whoopsies. If I, could, if I could chain, that would that would be nice, wouldn't it? But you just had those days. I'm out of camera. Okay. One, two, three, and then my fourth chain. And you're going to do this. We're going to go back and forth just like we did before until it is two and a half inches long okay two and a half inches long on your um on your ruler okay so now that we just did this four chain one i gotta get focus my camera better Chain one, go in, and just do our single crochets all the way across. If I could crochet. So that this way we can make a thing that's going to wrap around here and make it look like um like an actual bow where like it has parts wrapped around it. And then we're gonna um, sew it in here and it's gonna look beautiful and then we can take our clip and then we'll just be able to sl um, slip it through on here and then you'll be able to clip it like if this is my shirt on my shirt or on my hair or this is my hair <laughs> kind of a bad example so that's how it's gonna end up working so we have chain four and I'm just gonna chain one and then go across and do your single crochets until it is two and a half inches long. Okay? Meet okay, you back. so now that this is two and a half inches long, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna snip a uh, kind of a long tail and then tie it off like we did before. Okay? Nice and tight. Okay, tied it off. Now I'm just going to place it over what you want to be the front. Okay. And then you're going to take it in the back. And tie it together. these to be close just you want it as tight as possible maybe do it twice and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna thread your longest 
edge. So I'm going to assume that you know how to put um, th uh, thread on a needle. And then you just kind of pull it through. That's what my string is used for. Okay. So I can just quick tie it on. Okay. I lost that. <gasps> Whoops. Okay. Tie it on there. And then you can just sew. As you can see, this might be kind of loose. You want to sew it together so it's nice and squished in. So even though you can't really see what I'm doing, you might have a kind of a of an idea of how this is going to work. And then when you're doing this, you might grab some of the material down below, which is attached to the bow, so this is not going to come apart. And then you can just tie it off so that it is nice and tight. And then I'm just going to snip it because you're not even going to see this part. Well, I'm going to tie it one more time, but you're not even going to see this part because it's on the back. So I'm just going to snip it. I'm not going to work it in. Snip it. There we go. Get a barrette. Stick our barrette through. Okay. And then kind of kind of need to work it so you can flatten it out. Okay. And then you'll be able to clip it to anything that you need. Okay. See ya. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video. If you have any questions or new ideas, you can email me at, um, sorry, at crochettimewithvan at gmail.com. Okay, see you later. Bye.